These copper head pipes are an alternative to ventilators and they're used in these hand-built servers. This is the Hamburg headquarters of the startup company Protonet. The product is the focal point of the in-house cafe too. The company calls it the easiest server in the world. The idea is to provide an alternative to saving data on centralized large computing centers. Now that cloud computing is upon us, many people are worried about leaving their data in the hands of others due to the threat of hacking. Ali Jelve has experienced that himself. The first thing I feel when I see an email or the news that something has been hacked is fear. What's out there? How much do I need to lock up again? How many other passwords do I have to change? Or how many other logins do I have to block? It's a bit like losing your wallet. Jelve and his 30 employees want to turn that fear into profit. The small server is designed to decentralize the internet. We believe that decentralizing the internet will solve a lot of problems. It's about safety. Look at these huge hacking attacks or that massive surveillance scandal. If we were in a decentralized world, it would be practically impossible to hack hundreds of millions of accounts. Programming servers has been limited to IT specialists in the past. Ali Jelve wants to change that. This box is called IMS. If I go to IMS, that's IMS Protonet Info, the URL is on the info sheet. Then this web page loads up. And this page comes directly from this box. That allows video phoning without large providers such as Skype. Hello, Jan. But he's faced criticism for his basic technology. There's always a compromise between security and simplicity. If you want absolute security, you need systems which are hard to use and very hard to explain. The IT department of Hamburg University is located close by. A pioneer of data security in Germany is Professor Klaus Brunstein. He's observed developments in the Internet over years and says there would be advantages if it were more decentralized. Today's automatic attacks from large networks are particularly efficient if there's a single address to focus on, where a lot of data can be downloaded. So spreading the data over smaller, decentralized machines would be useful. Hackers would have to work a lot harder. Jelve is aiming to attract business from potential customers such as legal firms, advertising agencies or engineering consultancies. Unusually, he also wants as many competitors as possible. We believe that this diversified world will happen. But if it ends up as a monoculture, there'll be one kind of server, one kind of attack, and all of a sudden everything can be hacked. That's not what we want. We want to introduce stability and liberty through diversity. The NSA affair and the debate over secure data has been a boost for business. Jelve says he's now selling 40 servers a month instead of two. <laughs>